What is going on guys? Hopefully you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I just installed uh, a wireless uh, winch remote from Harbor Freight uh, to be able to uh, have my dump trailers wireless now. So that's pretty cool. But uh, enough of that. Uh, I wanted to share with you something that came up that uh, I was asked recently uh, from one of my videos that I posted. And the question was, uh, they noticed on my website uh, that I have uh, a hand truck uh, essentially for rent uh, to be able to be used. Um, some time ago, I wanted to find out if there's any add-ons that I could add to my business uh, to have a larger ticket overall price per dumpster. And so um, there's a few other things that I initially kind of tested out to see, and ultimately it's been a complete fail. So I'm gonna share that failure with you. Uh, maybe it'll be interesting or maybe spark some other ideas for you. Uh, and maybe you can share that with us in the comments. Let us know, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, the failures of things that I tried out and it just wasn't really feasible or didn't make sense or nobody actually wanted it. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into that now. So my first intention with trying to add on things to my dumpster rentals as far as other services or products or stuff like that was to initially try to add more value so whatever my customers are needing whatever pain point they have besides just simply needing a dumpster I wanted to fill that gap I wanted to meet the need uh, whether they're moving whether they're just doing you know regular spring cleaning whatever that may look like I wanted to be the person who is set apart from other people I wanted to be the disruptor to the degree that I could be uh, with adding a more premium service. So I, I offer more things that other people don't. Uh, and maybe that would be more valuable overall to people in general uh, to be able to go with me because I'm doing much more for them, uh, trying to meet their needs and, and help that in that way. So uh, there's a couple ideas that I had. The first, uh, like I mentioned uh, from the comment uh, up here somewhere I'll put, uh, was a hand truck on my website. Even still currently right now, I still have it listed uh, as being an option of renting a hand truck uh, with your dumpster rental. So that would be delivered upon uh, the, the delivery date. You would then be responsible for it still being alive and well with the dumpster uh, upon pickup. And so uh, basically it would just be a a very cheap rental 25 bucks maybe for a hand truck not everybody has a hand truck and yet some people would really i think benefit from boxes and other maybe large items uh, that could be easily moved with a hand truck outside with the bigger beefed up wheels uh, to be able to help people so a hand truck was one thought that i had uh, it's not selling products it would be another service it would be another rental uh, equipment rental to go with the dumpster so i thought man that could be a pain point that could be solved pretty easily with a a hand truck so that's that's my first go-to thought I figured I could easily get them from Harbor Freight if tires pop or have issues very cheap to maintain to replace uh, if somebody were to not have the the hand truck when I uh, come to pick it up uh, basically I would just charge the card on file uh, and go over to Harbor Freight and buy a new one and uh, just keep that rotation going uh, if that were to be the case. Or if they wanted to just keep it and buy it from me, no no big deal. So that was my first thought of trying to find uh, issues that may that customers may have that I could solve for them. So hand truck was one. Uh, the second thought that I had was in moving and throwing stuff away, maybe it would be more efficient if they had uh, large commercial or industrial size trash bags. So the big, thick, uh, trash bags, maybe not everybody has them. Maybe you don't want to use the small little, uh, I don't know, what, 20 or 30 gallon little smaller uh, trash bags to throw stuff away because you're just, most people seemingly just piles and piles of stuff. They don't really care. They're looking for bulk. They're not trying to uh, have the cookie cutter little trash can uh, bags filled up. Like they're getting rid of a whole dumpster worth. So I figured, well, uh, maybe I could... Uh, sell some uh, commercial uh, trash bags. I would have to have now an inventory of them. Uh, and then I would also have to charge sales tax on that because now I'm selling products, not just a service. And so um, for me, that was kind of a, a kind of a deterrent uh, overall, just the thought of that. But then uh, also, well, now they've got trash bags. What if I were to, because uh, not 
not everyone, uh, depending on the situation, uh, has you know enough hands to be making the good use out of that trash bag. It might be more of a frustration for them if they're loading up a big industrial bag uh, to have to hold it open. I remember I've moved several people. I've helped move a number of different items and clean stuff up before. And so I remember thinking, man, I, I need a third hand. I need two hands to hold this. I need one hand to be able to throw it in there uh, to make it actually work and not be wasting a lot of time. And so I thought, well, maybe I can get some of those uh, makeshift trash cans that would be able to go with it. So I would sell or even rent those smaller makeshift um, pop-up basically trash cans so that I'm not lugging around these big trash cans that would then be used to, to be thrown into the dumpster. Like you could literally set the bag inside of the container. Uh, as soon as that's filled up, you're, you're literally just tossing up much quicker, not even needing to touch the actual uh, frame of that trash can or makeshift trash can. So, uh, you know, thinking of renting that or selling that uh, type of uh, piece of equipment there and uh, basically finding those pain points for the customer. And so uh, I did kind of a survey with current customers. I would talk to as many people in person and even on the phone as well. And I would just ask them and then I recorded it. Um, I asked probably, I think the total was close to 30-ish people, uh, 30 customers that already were renting a dumpster from me. And only a few of them said, yeah, we could use one, but we already have one uh, as far as the hand truck goes. And then most people didn't even acknowledge the trash bag. It wasn't even an issue. It wasn't even a thing. Uh, evidently, the other items in the dumpster uh, were going to be large enough for smaller items. And it just it was a non-issue. And so uh, for me, these were three things, just essentially a hand truck, uh, large industrial trash bags, as well as little uh, makeshift uh, holders for them to keep it open, you know, in your house uh, to be able to easily chuck stuff in there. As soon as it gets filled up, boom, you, you take it out of it and, you know, load it up into the dumpster and you're good to go. Um, so uh, there may be other options out there, other things I haven't thought about. Uh, if you are thinking of them, if there's any add-ons that you could uh, make your overall ticket price for your dumpster higher, uh, let us know down in the comments below. These were some thoughts that I had. Um, and the beautiful thing about this was, is that um, I didn't buy a whole bunch of inventory of commercial trash trash cans uh, or, uh, or the, the pop-up trash cans uh, or the bags. Uh, and truth be told, I do have a Harbor Freight uh, actual uh, hand truck, but I didn't go buy two or three of those that I may, you know, somebody might use. I literally am testing it out on my website and I can take it down at any time. So um, for these add-on items that may or may not work out, you don't necessarily have to uh, make it to where, uh, you know, you have all this inventory, you've got money tied up into it. Um, if it would have happened, I probably could have sold stuff on Craigslist or any other, you know, use it myself or uh, any number of other things. But um, these were some thoughts that I had. Uh, there may be more out there. Uh, again, let us know down in the comments below. If this was a help to you uh, in just poking fun at me, uh, subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about it. Um, these were some additional add-ons that I thought that might be a help. And they turn out to not be apparently at all. So uh, with that being said, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe, guys, and God bless.